Hi, today we're going to quickly cover a few new features we've added to the AudioScan 2021.1 software update for Verifit 2, Axiom, and the AudioScan NOAA module. Software for Verifit 2 is now at version 4.24, Axiom at 1.30, and the AudioScan NOAA module has been updated to 2.20. It's important to always update your NOAA module to retain compatibility with your equipment and the latest data standards. As always, the No Charge software update is available for download on our customer site at customer.audioscan.com. So, what's new in 2021.1? First, we have venting simulation in the test box, comparison tests in speech map, RMSC normative ranges, a couple of NOAA module updates, a couple of networking updates, and finally the new View Format Selector. 1. Venting Simulation Simulated real ear measurements in the test box have been available in the AudioScan equipment for decades, but there was always a limitation when it comes to accurately simulating the vent effects associated with more open fittings. With this new feature, on-ear effects of venting can be simulated when running speech map tests in the test box to provide an improved prediction of in situ performance. When in test box mode, the speech map interface in the Verifit 2 and Axiom now include two new pop-up menus so the clinician can select the appropriate venting configuration. In the first menu, the clinician chooses between mold slash custom and dome slash sleeve. If Mold slash Custom is selected, the second menu provides a selection of vent sizes for custom products or those which use a custom ear mold, such as a standard BTE. If Dome slash Sleeve is selected, the second menu provides categories of instant ear tips. In each case, the appropriate predicted venting effect is applied during the subsequent measurements. These corrections help simulate the effects that would be measured on ear but have no effect on prescriptive fitting targets. In both venting corrections menus, the None selection is provided to allow the bypassing of the corrections entirely and ensure measurements equivalent to those from previous software. The ability to model vent performance during test box measurements can increase the predictive capabilities of simulated REM. And in a time when providers are seeking to decrease close contact time with their clients, test box based verification can be a valuable tool. 2. Comparison tests in SpeechMap. Comparison tests allow you to set a previously measured curve in SpeechMap as a comparison test. A second test can then be performed in the same test slot and visually compared with the previous measurement. This capability can be particularly useful when, for example, a client is changing hearing aids and you'd like to program the new devices with an output identical to a previous set. A new pop-up menu in SpeechMap provides access to the comparison test function. With a completed test shown on screen, selecting Set Test to Comparison, in this case it's test slot number 2, will move the current test results into the comparison slot. The curves and curve shading will be shown as a lighter color to identify the comparison data. A new test can be run in the same test slot and the comparison data will be visible in the background during the measurement. Once complete, both tests will remain visible. Note also that a second SII autobar has automatically been added, so the speech intelligibility index values for both previous and new curves can be displayed. To remove the comparison test from the system, open the new test menu again and select Clear Comparison Test. If you use the Session Store Restore function to save session data from the Verifit to a USB stick or network folder, there's a new option in the Restore menu which allows you to load the previous speech map data directly into the comparison test slots. This would be helpful if you wish to run new measurements at a later date. 3. RMSE Normative Ranges a few releases ago, the Verifit 2 added normative data for the Speech Intelligibility Index. These appear as an upper and lower limit in the SII autobar when DSL child or DSL adult is the selected fitting rationale. The autobar display can also be used to show the RMSE, or root mean square error from target. 
This value indicates the overall distance from fitting targets in the selected rationale and is based on values at 500 Hz, 1, 2, and 4K. In the 2021.1 software release, normative ranges have also been added to RMSE for when DSL adult or child formulas are in use. Again, these show up as upper and lower limits indicated by thin black lines. Note that while SII is typically better with larger numbers, RMSE results are more favorable when the value decreases. In this example, you'll note that the lower limit shows up right at the zero line. 4. NOAA Module Updates The first NOAA Module Update is the ability to pair a previously measured RECD with a current audiogram. While it is typical to have a newly measured RECD whenever a new audiogram has been stored, in some cases the audiogram may have changed, but a previous RECD is still appropriate. An example would be when using individual RECDs measured on adult ears. As shown here, the window which pops up when sending data from NOAA to the Verifit has changed a little. The first selector shows you the assessment data action which will be sent over. And, as always, this defaults to the most recent audiogram. The selector below this allows the clinician to select a stored RECD, which may have an earlier date. The second and arguably most exciting update to the NOAA module relates to the speech map comparison tests feature mentioned earlier. For the first time ever, previously stored speech map measurements can be sent back from NOAA to the Verifit. These measurements will automatically populate the comparison test slots in the Verifit 2 speech map screen. Again, this feature involves a small change to the window shown when sending data. Underneath the audiogram and RECD selector is a third pop-up menu which allows the selection of the previously stored test data. Here's what the speech map screen would look like with a set of comparison curves pulled in from NOAA as well as the audiogram ready for new tests to be run. 5. Networking Updates The first network change will be of particular interest to IT professionals in larger institutions. The Verifit 2 has now added WPA2 Enterprise to the list of available Wi-Fi security schemes that are supported. This is an important change with the increasing usage of wireless connections in hospitals and other high security networks. The second change is a small tweak that will provide increased convenience for anybody who sets up a Windows shared folder for print to file or session saving. In previous software, this setup required entering the name of the computer where the target folder resides. This can now be substituted with the IP address of the PC, which allows for a faster, more hassle-free setup and is much more reliable on a wider variety of network configurations. 6. New View Format Selector Most test screens in the Verifit 2 offer the choice between single and dual view, and between graph and table format. In previous software, these selections were made in two separate text-based selectors. For convenience, these have all been combined now into one easy quick menu. Thanks for taking the time today to look at these new features with me. Full instructions are available in the updated user guide included with your download. As always, please visit our website for software downloads and further information, and contact us if you have questions.